I'm here with my friends and accountability partners and fellow coaches, Stacy and Mickey. Um, we're from all over the United States right now, coming in from three different time zones. And we want to share with you guys um, something that has inspired us this week to kind of spread around that energy and spread around that vibe um, to anybody else who might need it as well. So I'm going to start. And something that inspired me this week, because again, like I said, it was kind of a low vibe week, I think. It was just kind of like just tired energy and just a little bit doubtful of myself and a little bit like too long of a to-do list, you know? Um, so I actually had this assignment um, given to me by someone I'm working with to help with my belief blocks. And they had me write a letter to my future self 12 months from now. And it's like to give thanks to them for all the hard work that they've done and to also highlight all the ways that their life has improved. And for me, this exercise did really help me um, it was difficult. I had to do some meditation to first step into that letter because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to say to her. I couldn't picture her. I couldn't see the life she was living. But as I did the letter, that started to come up, which I think is the point, right? So I started to see myself in the life that I would love to be living a year from now, you know? And I saw myself in Tahiti, um, visiting my friends and visiting with my friends. And I saw myself with a partner and like scuba diving and snorkeling there. Um, I saw myself having a successful coaching business and having speaking engagements like all over the world that, you know, that had happened. Um, and I saw myself had written a book, like my book was published and stuff. So yeah, that's what really helped me this week is just kind of seeing taking a moment to spend some time and see the things that I'm working so hard for. Like, mm. you know, like we're working, I'm working so hard and doing so many things and it's like, what is it all for? So I got to kind of step into that experience when I wrote this letter. Yeah. Ooh. I, mean, I love that. Um, and I love that you, you know, gave yourself a second to kind of like step into like future chastity. Um, Cause it's so easy, you know, like the mind and the ego is like, going a thousand miles a minute and you're all over the place. So it, I think grounding into that and like really feeling into that energy is like so beautiful. And it just really helps us to embody it more because like the more you memorize that feeling, the, like the more quicker it's gonna come to you, right? So my inspiration for this week is, um, as you said, we're all over the place, all over the United States. So I just recently moved to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, I now have two friends here. <laughs> I came here with only one friend. <laughs> and so, you know, just naturally, just through COVID and everything, I've been kind of to myself in my apartment, um, you know, doing work, doing, I do energy work and just working on my mindset and just really grounding into that. And so last weekend, um, well, actually the weekend before that, I went to a flamenco show. I saw it, I saw the flyer for it. And I was like, I wanna to go to this show. And I realized that the the um, the um end of the show was coming up and I was like, oh crap. So I was like, go ahead and randomly buy a ticket, go by myself, no big deal. And um, the Lyft driver that ended up taking me home, we we're about the same age, we really hit it off. Um, we had a lot of things in common. So he's like, hey, let's hang out, you know, blah, 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 blah. Nice. And so we hung out this past weekend. Uh, we went to this comedy show at this brewery and it was really cool because the brewery that we went to was like, it had a, um, like an indoor and an outdoor portion. The outdoor portion was beautiful. Like all these tables out there, really casual, nothing like fancy, but just, it was just really like grounding and it was a beautiful like summer night and the moon was out and the weather was just perfect. And there was like little lights all over the table and stuff. And it was just like really cool and chill. And it was really beautiful to be in that energy. Um, and then the, the, the day before, um, my other friend that I have here, we, she invited me to uh, go to another brewery um, kind of close to the downtown. So for me overall, it was just really nice like to be out, be really be in the vibe of the city because you know, being in my little cocoon in my apartment in my like immediate neighborhood, um, I kind of see the same thing every day, which is don't get me wrong, beautiful. Like I'm actually even just pushing myself to just even going like walking in my neighborhood because I wasn't even doing that. So just really just being out in the energy, absorbing these last few days of summer and just like grounding into the fact that I'm in this beautiful new city and you know I was divinely led and guided here by my higher self, source, God, spirit, 
whatever you want to call it and just really like appreciating it more and and obviously being mindful with like COVID things but not being afraid to just like immerse myself in the culture and the energy here so that really inspired me yeah nice <laughs> Mick what about you Stace so beautiful I love that you got to explore Santa Fe I'm sure I just pictured like a beautiful sky and sunrise and well sunset and it was like colorful and it was just gorgeous and it was warm air like I was feeling all of that with it with the uh, <laughs> spicy margarita in my hand and everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, I will say sunset has the most I mean sunset Santa Fe has the most beautiful sunsets I've ever seen so I can't wait for y'all to come visit me I can only imagine it. I can't <laughs> wait to come to. That's one of my favorite things to look at, like having happy hour with the sun setting. And then it's just so beautiful and being outside and it's so good to get out of your four walls. So I'm so happy you have these two friends. Like, that's awesome. You just up and left and found two friends in this I new know. city. So it's definitely divine, divine alignment for you, which is beautiful, 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 beautiful. So this week, same... I the same kind of weird energy this week chastity like you did um it started off kind of strange and i had a family emergency and but i was so excited to get working on my business because i'm a, a single mother but um my son just started back school this week mm. um and he hasn't been in school since march 2020 so it gave me a little bit i when i dropped him off i was just like i'm free <laughs> <laughs> Literally, literally. <laughs> and I was so excited the night before, I really didn't even sleep. So I was a little drained, but also really excited. But then as soon as I got into the house, started petting my dog, I got a phone call from my boyfriend stating that he burnt his hands at work and he has to go to the ER. Oh, so I'm like, universe, what are you doing to me? I just got rid of all of my children and now they gotta come back. <laughs> I was so hurt and so devastated and I I feel bad because I actually put that negative energy and anger onto my boyfriend um but I had a moment where it was just I was totally selfish and I was like look I I need to work on my business and when you're home it actually makes it kind of hard I can't be under up underneath you I can't so let me go ahead and do what I need to do and please be okay with it and he was, thankfully, the burn really wasn't that bad. He can take care of himself. He is a chef, so he can make his own food. He does have another hand that he can work with if he needs to, you know? <laughs> so the next day, I actually took a self-care day, and it was supposed to be just a self-care hour. And I ended up going to the beach instead of one hour for four hours. Mm -hmm. But I needed that time with the universe, with, with nature, with waves, with I had to put my feet in the water to wash off that energy just like in my mind that's what I was thinking you know but I feel like it physically does happen too anyway um I was there for four hours and I brought my journal and I just brain farted everything out that I wanted to accomplish for the rest of this month and get myself re-motivated again because now it's, it has to be a little bit of a different strategy um because of these bumps that are happening in the road and it did put me back a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I did wake up the next day feeling amazing. And I've been in the middle of, the biggest inspiration that has really been keeping me going is that I'm doing a 30 day challenge on Clubhouse. And it's all about a mindset shift, how to shift your mind in entrepreneurship. And so the first day we were talking about loving yourself, it's all about your insides, it's all about you feeling good. So I'm like, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling good again. Oh no. No, we were just getting to the good part. <laughs> I know. The next day we was uh, forms of subtle. Is am I back? Yeah. Am I back? Mm -hmm. Am I okay? <laughs> it's recalibrating. Oh man. My energy got better, so it kicked out kicked out the Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, y'all can hear me okay? Mm-hmm. Y'all can hear me okay? Yes? Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. So um, yeah, we were speaking about how to love yourself, getting back to loving your true self because that's what's really gonna push you in business. And then different forms of self-sabotage was the next day and people came up and just started sharing their truths. And it, it, it felt good to me that they felt comfortable enough to do that 
but it also allowed everybody in the room to be like, wow, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one going through some bullshit. And I'm glad that we can come together and just talk about it and just talk about it. So then today, today was actually day four. So I'm missing one of the days, but today we were speaking about um, fear. Fear is so huge for every last one of us, no matter if you're an entrepreneur or not. And um, I was literally just talking to myself, even though I was talking to the clubhouse people. And I'm just like, Stacy, you're not going to let yourself fail. Okay. You are going to go ahead, put the pedal to the metal, keep going despite what's going on around you and allow whatever happened to happen, but you're not going to stop. You're not going to give up. You're going to keep going because literally you have no choice. So it's either you want to give up and completely fail and take all of your dream, dreams to the graveyard, or do you want to at least try and be successful and keep going and keep helping people? Go ahead and try. So this, that was kind of the things like I was telling them, but I was really talking to my damn self. Like, hey, you got to get this together. <laughs> so so oh uh, just going to the beach and also, you know, actually speaking about the things that are kind of holding me back on the inside and having other people understand and uplift you. That's the biggest thing. Uplift you whenever you're saying things that are kind of painful for you. If they can uplift you, then that's something that's going to keep you inspired. So that mm -hmm. has been my my week of inspiration. <laughs> yes. Amazing. Ooh, week of inspiration. Yes. I love that. Thank yeah, you, ladies. And like, for everybody out there, like if you are needing a little inspiration, these are some things that work for us. Connecting with nature, getting outside, meeting new people, connecting with uplifting people mm -hmm. and connecting with your future self, you know, and like what, who you, who you are and what you really want and why you want it, you know? So we hope that that blesses you today and amazing. Everybody have a great Thursday. Thanks, love. You too. <laughs> Bye, y'all.